And up next, uh, the founder of Slashdot, Commander Taco, exposes yeah! the secret to the geekiest website around. What? It's called News for Nerds, one of my favorite websites. Please welcome Slash, uh, slash Dot founder, Commander Taco, Rob Mulder. Yeah! Wow, welcome to the show. Good to be here. Dude, we are so excited to have you. I mean, Slashdot has been such a huge part of my life, and I know everybody else's life. For the people that don't know what it is that we're introducing them to the first time today, what exactly is Slashdot? Well, Slashdot is news for nerds, stuff that matters. Uh, we're kind of, well, we're probably the largest uh, not big corporate uh, tech news site. Why did you pick such a hard domain name for people to remember? They're like slash dot dot org, and people got it confused. I'm sure you must have gotten a thousand emails. See, I'm kind of a jerk, and it turned out that the, the joke was, ended up being on me because I thought it would be funny. HTTP colon slash slash dot dot org. Okay, now go on TV or on radio and try to tell somebody your URL. Okay, slash dot. Is that got a dot? It takes like a minute and a half. Right, and they'll have no idea. Did you so, do that to kind of keep it underground at first? or? Well, I just did it to be sarcastic. I, it, it, I mean, slash dot, it's an it's a internet tech thing, and I always felt that it was for the internet, mm -hmm. and it was that it's kind of a self-referential thing. Right, so the people that knew how to get there could go ahead and, I mean, had no problems mm -hmm. whatsoever. So how did this evolve into what it is today? Did you start off with... Like a personal website, kind of like the Yahoo guys did, where it was a collection of links, or? Yeah, uh, it all really grew out of my personal home pages. Uh, I had, uh, well, at the time, it wasn't called blogging, but today it would be called blogging. Mm -hmm. I had a thing called Chips and Dips that I ran out of my computer science account when I was in college. And it was a lot of what you see on Slashdot today, not the discussion part, but the, the general content, the subject matter. And uh, one day, I decided to register a domain name. And how many people today, so back then, you, how many people came to the website versus how it is today? Back then, we'd be talking about maybe a thousand, a couple thousand people would be a, would be a, a normal day, and today we're talking about a half a million people. You've got to be kidding me! A half a million people? That's awesome! Yeah. A half a million. So, where do you get your? I mean, obviously, the submissions come from the user base, mm -hmm. right? How many submissions do you have to dig through a day? Usually about 500. Mm -hmm. uh, some days more, some days less. And you just just dig through them. Can you show us the admin interface? I know that you were gonna certainly. This is Certainly. awesome. This is the first time I've seen the behind the scenes. Let's see. Mac user, huh? Shh. <laughs> yeah, so this is the back end. Uh, and from here, you can kind of see here's a bunch of stories. Actually, this might be a little bit of an out of date screenshot. But it's, uh, these are the stories that are coming up through the day. You can see uh, how many page views that they've had. And you can see how many comments have been posted and when uh -huh. they actually went up and all that. And I stare at this a lot. And then the other page that I stay, uh, stare at even more is this one, which is our submissions bin. Ah, and so this is where they all come into. This is what I look at all day. So you read and read and read and read and read, and if you don't like one, you click the little checkbox, and you click the delete button, and it goes away. And then can you show me an example of uh, posting one of these live? Let's let pick out one that you really like. Sure. Uh, this new I am worm on the loose, not at all marked with all these asterisks, uh, is uh, one that I think is probably ready to go. OK. And uh, you click on it, and this is the page that we get. You can see here's basically the breakdown. Uh, in the story, there's nice blanks to fill, little hints to give me uh, other stories that might be related to it. And then you can modify this. If they've posted yep. something wrong or you don't like the way it's worded, you exactly. can change it. Exactly. Cool. And then you click, uh, click Submit. And I would, how... uh, yeah, I hit the Preview button, which would take me to this one. And uh, from here, I can load, I can change more fields. Uh, I actually have a little topic hierarchy here, so I can, you can see all the different topics that are associated with Slashdot ah, stories. You I go see. through and fill those all out. And when you're all done, uh, you turn on the little display checkbox and click, on, click save. on save. And right now, you're loading this, you're posting this to Slashdot. How long is it going to take for it to go live? So we'll find out. Does it have to go into like some type of caching? Yeah, server? it's cached. OK, so it's all cached. And then it takes a little while for it to finally. How many computers are we talking that run Slashdot? We're talking about, uh, we've got 12 to 15 web heads and then a handful of databases as well. Wow. So now, what are some of the craziest things that you've seen on Slashdot? Do you get all these n crazy submissions that you just can't post live, but you're just like, oh, that's a funny link. I'd love to check that out. Or... Sure. Uh, we, we're very fortunate. We get to read the websites that you don't get to read. Right, all the stuff behind the scenes. Right. Now, you actually proposed to your wife I did. On, in, in front of a half a million people. I did. And how did that all work out? Well, He's like, hey, I'm uh, Commander Taco. You I can wanna... put it on the screen. You can see there it is, uh, 15 minutes uh, uh, and 30 seconds later, yes. Uh, she replied and she said yes. Oh, that's awesome. So is that, how did you get the name Commander Taco? Is that something your wife came up with? Or? <laughs> it's actually a reference to an old Dave Barry 
uh, column, he listed restaurants that you'd never want to take a date, and one of them was the Commander Taco. And I have an extensive fact entry on that particular <laughs> uh, question nice. uh, as well. Uh, so tell me about the future of Slash It. I mean, it's pretty much stayed the same, and it's, it's been like a, a great little place for a community now, yeah. for people to come to and hang out and post. And, but for over the last community. few years, I haven't really seen anything change on it. Do you have any future plans for moving Slashdot, sure. adding new functionality? Uh, well, we do have plans to uh, do a pretty substantial overhaul of the moderation system in the next couple of weeks. Uh, that'll take a long time, but mm -hmm. it's, it's something that's really sadly overdue. Uh, and the IT section it has been growing uh, in the last few months. Uh, it continues to be really popular. But the last few weeks, and for the next three weeks, I guess, is our politics section. Uh, Politics.slash.org has been hugely popular. And people like to talk about the politics yeah, for some reason. I bet you they're arguing back and forth. Just a little. Very cool. Well, thanks so much for being on the show, Rob. Not a problem. To learn more about Rob, take a look at our bonus interview. It's available at thescreensavers.com.